Buenos dias, damas y caballeros. Today we are going to ask the questions. Are the Duterte camp going down the political ladder? Is the Duterte family decreasing its political power? And uh, for this reason, uh, Vice President Sara Duterte has to resign her post in, uh, in uh, a de desperate attempt to regain back their political hold on their traditional political uh, uh, kingdom and that is Davao City in the face of threats coming from an aggressive and uh, very uh, strong political family that is now uh, one of the families uh, helping uh, push for Chacha and helping uh, fight the SMNI and I'm talking about the Nograles family led by uh, attorney Mix Rob, uh, Nograles so in fact uh, recently diba binanatan siya ni uh, ni Paulo Nograles na binebenta daw yung mga o binibili daw yung mga Davawenyo. That's why sabi niya Davawenyos are not for sale. So she has she has the ag aggressiveness of her father, perhaps also the brains of her lawyer father, uh, former speaker Prospero Nograles, and now also perhaps the money from the Marcos government, if not from uh, from the uh, uh, pork barrel and uh, uh, people's initiative money coming from uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez. Parang uh, lumalabas na nga uh, tira, itong si Migs Nograles ay uh, ang tirador <laughs> ni, uh, ni uh, Martin Romualdez. So, and uh, deserving lesson. Nakita natin gaano siya and we featured her, di ba? Many times uh, during the uh, in, uh, hearing on the SMNI uh, ta talaga naman magaling talaga because she's a uh, 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 law professor and uh, and uh, nagbibigay rin ng free legal services so she's really good and uh, you know as a backgrounder kaya naging nakilala ko at naging close ko si President uh, Duterte dahil uh, kinuha niya ako ang services ng Dean and Kings uh, communication, uh, of course, where I uh, was president and CEO as the owner of the company. Kinuha niya ang company ko because uh, when uh, former speaker Prospero Noglar Nograles rose to power, sinubukan niyang gibain yung mga Dutertes. And that's uh, mayor pa si Duterte noon. And that's uh, where he got our services to help fight the, the, the Nograles. That's why I just want to, to make this clear. Hindi po si, si kinuwa ang firm ni VAT para depensahan sila sa mga, <laughs> sa mga sinasabing EJK. Kundi it's, uh, it's to fight the Nograles uh, family. Kasi ito talaga, sa Davao, yan lamang po eh. Yan lamang talaga ang uh, dalawang pamilya ang uh, nag-aaway-aaway. So ngayon, uh, for, for a, for a uh, given for the longest time, lalo na nung presidente si Duterte, si uh, Mr. Duterte, ay uh, sila ang naka, na, siyempre, sila ang on power talaga. But before that, ang mga nograles ang may hold talaga, it not only sa national, but local uh, local power. Si Duterte, andun lang sa, sa sulok ng uh, Davao City. Pero... Uh, for the rest of the the region at in also Mindanao and also in the national level si Prospero Nograles ang naghahari pero syempre uh, hindi rin niya nagiba si Duterte sa Davao be uh, dahil later on sasabihin ko kung anong ginawa namin on the political front uh, yun lang po ang that's why he got our services ng uh, company ko so successful naman kami kasi na survive si uh, President Duterte sa, sa challenge na yun sa demolition job na, na Nino Grales 
at uh, he went on syempre to become president at uh, nung presidente na, na siya uh, medyo outside di ko lang bu- yung tatay pero inappoint naman niya yung anak na si Carlo Alexi ben- uh, Nograles na uh, sa various positions at uh, naging kwan pa nga ito ngayon na uh, chairman chairperson of the civil service commission pero siguro babalik rin ito sa sa uh, uh, sa 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 local or national uh, electoral political position after his term diyan sa sa civil service uh, at uh, uh, naging spokesperson pang siya sa time ni President uh, uh, Duterte so pero yung tatay hindi talaga nabigyan ng position medyo battery pa rin si President Duterte sa mga ginawa niya nung speaker siya kay President Duterte later on mahabang storya yan istoryahin ko yan kayo about that later on so ngayon na uh, humihina na sila out of power na si President Duterte under attack si Sara ngayon nagpapalakas itong si Mig sa uh, ano Grales uh, parang siya talaga kayo nakita nyo gaano, paano niya awayin yung SMNI kahit dating co-host siya doon so ngayon uh, uh, we, we will uh, continue with our uh, earlier blog or we will make a follow up blog doon una sa sinabi natin Uh, we already told you na kaya most likely tatagbo siya ng mayor to get, to secure to regain hold on the political uh, uh, bastion nila uh, kasi ito ito ang kuha nila itong traditional uh, uh, controlled uh, uh, and dominated uh, uh, kuha nila uh, political uh, uh, kingdom that's why uh, Uh, since ayaw na ni Paulo Duterte, ayaw na rin ni, ni uh, Baste Duterte to run for uh, for uh, political position in 2025. So si Sarah, si Sarah na ang gagawa nito just to save the positions, just to to uh, be, uh, save the Bailey Week that is uh, Davao na traditional uh, political grounds nila. Kasi kasi if they lose Davao, they lose everything. They lose everything. So Uh, fortunately, nakita ko itong interview kay, uh, kay Tony Antonio uh, Lavinia Tony Lavinia na kilala ko po rin ito uh, kilala, uh, Respetable itong political strategist rin and, and lawyer and educator and political expert na Who also shares my view na possible talaga uh, Mayoral position ang tatagbuhin ni Sarah to to regain back and to use it as a as her uh, vehicle para mak- makuha yung Malacañang just like her father in the 2020 election kung mapunta tayo doon at hindi tayo ma- maharangan ng ng kwan ng <laughs> PI move na yan so let's uh, let's uh, uh, watch the interview of uh, Mr. Labinya and we thank uh, ANC for this uh, for this for allowing us to use this video and then we will comment about it. Ito na pa uh, at Mr. Labinya when he was asked uh, kwan po ito din ng Ateneo uh, political uh, uh, or, or at I think uh, School of Government Dean of uh, School of Government ng Ateneo uh, Mindanawan po ito ka uh, based in uh, uh, or uh, galing from Cagayan de Oro. All right, but let, let's go down to how but, she. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry, professor, you're you're lagging there. But let me just ask this. Pangit question. lang yung signal. The way she laid it out. They're talking uh, about the Sara Duterte. She, uh, uh, phrased, announcing um, she will run for local government um, or for this, for an electoral position of, of the two brothers from public office, and that she is banking on the support from the locals. At the very least, Professor, how is this not dynastic? Of course, it is. <laughs> Pangit signal. <laughs> Baka nasa Mindanao. Okay, Professor, I'm really sorry to do this to you, but you're. Dynasty. Yeah, Professor. Yeah. Professor. The dyn- Yes. Yeah. Can you can you repeat what you said about 
it about it not the being Rutarta. dynastic. Go ahead. So the Rutarta is a dynastic family. It's a family dynasty. That's what this is. And it's in danger of losing everything in their base. A dynasty is only as good as its look. If it loses that local base, then uh, the dynasty loses. Um, and it's oh, maganda yun. local base. Ah. If it loses that local base, maganda yung sinabi niya. Of losing everything in their base. A dynasty is only as good as its local base. If it loses that local base, then uh, the dynasty loses. Um, and it seems too that this dynasty doesn't have a next generation, at least right now. Um, so uh, it would also be smart for her, from a dynasty point of view, to go back to Davao. Uh, you cannot sustain your dynasty at the national level. You see that in the Aquinas, for example. Uh, Okay. Uh, yun na, yun, yung nga ang point natin noon na kaya sinabi natin na babalik talaga si Sara sa Davao dahil yung ang problema ni President Duterte, siya very strong siya. Pero hindi niya hindi niya na train or hindi ganoon ang personality ni Polong Duterte na medyo pabara-bara pero hindi naman talaga magaling magsalita. Hindi pareho kay Mix Nograles or kay Carlo Nograles. Ah uh, pagkatapos sa uh, 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 si, si Baste ganun rin parang easy go lucky lang so si Sarah lang talaga na raise niya ang problem to be to be like him a lawyer ganun magaling magsalita ganun uh, agresibo pero ang problema only Sarah lang nandyan unlike yung Sinograles at least dalawang anak niya at marami pa silang mga allies na lumalakas ngayon yan ang problema ng mga dynasties kung ang ang next generation hindi nila na, na train or walang personality to to take uh, to take control and to continue the fight of the of the dynasty. Marami tayong nakikita ng dynasty na mamatay dahil yung next generation either ayaw sa politika, hindi marunong maglaro ng politika or kaya hindi na train sa politika. Kaya maraming dynasty wala na ngayon eh, wala na. So it may happen to the Duterte. That's why fight for survival ang mga Duterte ngayon. Sige, tuloy natin. Uh, and maybe they did not care. They didn't want a dynasty. So give that, I'll give that uh, as a credit to the Aquinas that they did not think of themselves as a dynasty. Mm -hmm. uh, but you cannot sustain a dynasty at the national level. Mm -hmm. By definition, a political dynasty is localized. And uh, the Turkes, I repeat, are losing, are, prop, are you know, challenged not now by the Nograles, actually. It's interesting because the Nogales came on board the Duterte train when the father was the president, but they're now, it seems to be preparing for a next round of Duterte Nogales uh, political feud in Davao City. All right. So that statement of the vice president, I always say this. It didn't happen within a vacuum. There is a political reality that we have to talk about now. Where would you put the VP's political career as we speak, Professor? Oh, you know, uh, she has a good chance of becoming president of the country in 2028, right? She's the most popular politician right now, according to to, to polls. Uh, you know, but uh, at the same time, if that's going to be If the presidency is going to be emasculated through charter change and we have a parliamentary reform system, she has no chance of becoming prime minister because she doesn't seem to have the very, very basic skill of coalition building, yeah. uh, which is what you need if you want to be the prime minister. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's why, of course, the Duterte like now seem to be will be leading it seems. Uh, the opposition against charter change, mm -hmm. uh, not, not just for the principle of it, but mainly because it does affect their chances. Um, certainly, if she runs for mayor, she'll have a good chance uh, to win as mayor. But uh, I think also the other, the competition is stronger now than it used to be, uh, and we'll see. I, I actually am not privy to what the plans are of like the Nogales family or any other uh, political family to challenge that. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
the rule in Davao is ten years. It's not, you know, it's it's always been based on the father. Um, but the father also has own set of problems. For example, if the ICC is continuous and he is arrested or sent to the Hague for trial, that's also so things are moving. Okay. We should just be patient and wait. Certainly by October we will know uh -huh. if she will resign as the vice president okay. or not and run for mayor. Okay, Professor. Okay, so yun guys, uh, na narinig nyo and I agree with this view uh, na it's always uh, Mr. Duterte. I, I know that uh, nung naging kliyente ko siya. Uh, siya lang talaga ang uh, magaling sa organi organization skill, magaling makuha yung kiliti ng tao, pero he's now old. He cannot even go around. Uh, I saw that rin happening dito sa Quezon City nung hinawakan namin si Joy Belmonte at medyo mahina na si uh, Mr. Former Mayor and Former Speaker Sunny Belmonte. Uh, muntik na natalo si Joy dahil uh, yung tao andon pa rin yung loyalty kay, uh, kay Sunny. Buti na lang after na nalo si Joy, uh, she was able to show na at na build up ulit na renew yung mga ties ng tatay niya now she can build on she can run on her own, own strength pero for a time when uh, uh, she first ran for mayor medyo nahirapan kami because uh, yung nga uh, there were days na hindi na nakakasama sa rally si Mr. Sunny Belmonte uh, buti nga meron siya joy kasi yung ibang mga mga, mga, mga anak tulad ng sinabi ko Uh, si Joy babae pero yung mga yung mga anak yung eldest na nandito neighbor ko sa dito sa subdivision namin na na eldest na anak ay mas mahilig uh, mag, maging editor publisher doon sa newspaper nila the, the Philippine Star kaysa sumali sa politika in fact uh, uh, ngayon uh, nephew at uh, nis, uh, nieces lang nephews and nieces lang ang uh, asa, nasa politika kasama si Joy na mga Belmontes so uh, ganon, yan ang rin ang problema sa mga dynasties and all other brothers ni Joy Belmonte ay sumali sa mga negosyo ng mga Belmonte so yun, yan ang classic example buti may Joy pa, otherwise wala na, baksak na yung Belmonte di, uh, dynasty ng Quezon City. Forgive my word, pero that is what it is. Ha? <laughs> Mag magalit sa akin neighbor ko dito. So, example lang yan. So, ganyan, ganyan rin nangyari sa mga Dutertes ngayon. They are in danger because yung bailiwick nila mismo ay under attack by, dinog by yung traditional and uh, strongest rival nila na since time immemorial, since uh, lum, uh, lumaka, pum, uh, pumasok sa uh, since uh, nagsimula yung mga Dutertes uh, sa politika, simula pa sa tatay, sa nanay, mga nograleses na ang mga kalaban nila. And ngayon, may showdown na naman for 2025. Kaya that is a fight to watch again. So hanggang dyan lang muna tayo. Uh, you heard it from the expert. And please share this blog to friends and relatives. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next blog.